Welcome to Programming 9 C Programming Video Tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about the control structures in C. First of all, what is a control structure? Let us see it. A control structure refers to the way in which the programmer specifies the order of executing the statement. Generally, we have seen that C program is a set of statements which are normally executed sequentially in the order in which they appear. This is generally we happens when no option or no repetitions of certain calculations are necessary. However, in practice, we have a number of situations where we may have to change the order of execution of statements based on certain conditions. C has different types of control structures. That is selection statement and looping or iteration statement. Either selection statements are considered if and switch. Looping or iteration statements considered for while and do while. Let us see them in the next video in the looping or iteration statements. But in this video, we are going to discuss if and switch. What is if? If is generally two way selection statement. Let us see it how the operation is going on in the if. There are totally four types of if statements in C that is, simple if, 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 if else nested if else and else if ladder. First let us discuss simple if statement. If statement allows decision to be made by evaluating given expression as true or false. That is check it out. Basic syntax is if some expression or some condition here. If this condition is true, the statement block will be executed. If the condition failed, it will directly jump out of this block the different conditions some of the examples of conditions are a equals to 10 flag not equals to done a less than b some value something less than or equal to 20 lap greater than or equal to start etc etc these are some different conditions those conditions are generally be found with these operators a equal to not equal to less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to etc so you have to place these conditions in this expression let us see the simple flowchart for this. Speed is greater than 65. If the condition is true, the control jumps to print your speeding. If the condition is false, it's go sequentially as usual. But it completely omits the statement. That is either true or false. Simply, we are disrupting the normal sequential flow of a program. See this simple example. It describes the largest among the three numbers. I have taken three numbers A, B, C. Now I am reading these three values. And let us assume A value will be passed to LAR. It is an extra temporary variable called LAR. I am checking it out. If B greater than LAR. Simply we are checking that A is uh, B is greater than A. If this condition is true, then only this statement will be executed. If this condition is failed, automatically it will jump to this position. This is the thing you need to remember here. Initially, this is a mandatory statement because we haven't mentioned any specific conditions above this statement. But here we have used a condition. If this condition is true, this statement will be executed. If the condition is false, directly jump to the next statement. Similarly, C greater than LAR. If this condition also true then the statement will be executed if the condition is false then directly jump to the statement totally i have one statement after the if you can also use the multiple statements but if you're gonna use multiple statements you must have to include an open brace and a closed brace that is mandatory if you have using if you're using only one line of code after this if no need of any braces Next one is if else. In this if else, some expression should be evaluated based on this expression. If that is true, the statement 1 will be executed. If this is false, the statement will be executed. At a time, either statement 1 or statement 2 would be executed. But it is not possible to execute statement 1 and statement 2 parallelly or sequentially. Only one should be allowed at a time. 
this is the basic syntax if expression this expression or condition is true first block if the condition is false second block that's why i'm calling this as a two way decision statement see another example here int m1 m2 in total enter the values of m1 and m2 i'm reading two values of m1 and m2 i'm just totaling this m1 and m2 i'm just checking the condition here if you see it m2 is greater than 28 and m1 plus m2 greater than or equals to 40 we already discussed about the end that is logical end so m2 greater than 28 if i entered something as uh, m1 is 20 and assume m2 is 40 at these two situations m2 is greater than 28 that means 40 greater than 28 the condition is true so if this is true directly jump to the second part m1 plus m2 that is 40 and 20 greater than or equals to 40 so 60 greater than or equal to 40 so the student is passed this statement will be executed and then directly jump out of this block so the else part will completely omitted if something I have taken m1 as 10 in the place of 20 I will just replace m1 as 10 this means 10 greater than 28 the condition is failed so the first block will be omitted the directly jumps to the else block that is student is failed nested if nested if statements are used when a series of decisions involved here the series of decisions means an if within if if expression 1 if this condition is true the first block will be executed if the condition is false it will jump to the second block of statements if this condition is true you are going to evaluate and again another condition within that condition sorry within the conditional block here after taking certain decision you are going to take an another decision based upon this decision that is if expression 1 is true it will jump to the expression 2 and it evaluate the statement 1 if this expression 2 is true if this expression 2 is false directly jump to the else block and you need to remember one thing here if this expression is true or if this expression if this expression is true it will jump to the first first block of statements if this expression is false it will directly jump to the false block the only one thing you remember is there is no relationship between if and this else this else is completely belongs to this if this else is completely belongs to this if this is very important thing you need to remember here please don't confuse this if with this else those two are completely different see this thing expression 1 is true if this expression 1 is true it will evaluate this block if this expression 1 is false it will execute statement 3 again if this condition is true you need it needs to go to the statement 2 or if sorry if this expression is true it will go to the statement 1 if this expression is false it will go to the statement 2 finally all the statements will reach, reach to the regular uh, sequential flow of the execution that is if expression 1 some internal block here this block contains this is true block and this is the fast block this is a nested if example to print all the numbers in ring order i have taken a as 5 b 10 c 15 just assume a 10 sorry a 5 b 10 c 15 if this condition is true that is a 5 b 10 and c is 15 totally three statements here so among these three statements let us check it out a greater than b 5 greater than 10 condition is failed next jump to this one b greater than a <laughs> condition is true here we use the logical end here so that the second one also should satisfy b greater than c no condition failed so go to the next line or next block c greater than a c means 15 a means 5 condition true 
and C greater than B. That is 15 greater than 10. The condition is true. Completely the statement is true. Next it will jump to the internal part. That is if A greater than B. A greater than B means 5 is greater than 10. No. The condition failed here. So it will jump to the else block. So this block will be executed now. In the next and last one is else if ladder. It is used whenever we need more than two decisions. And of course, we might face some of the situations uh, that we need to select something from the multiple conditions. If some condition, if it is true, the statement will be executed. If the condition is false, so else if again condition statement, else if again condition and statement, etc. This, this, this flow will continue forever until we are satisfied. See this is a simple example. Score is greater than or equals to 90. If this condition is true, grade A will be executed. If this condition is false, go to else block. So else again we can check in the condition here. Score is greater than or equals to 80. Print grade B. If the condition failed, again go to else block. Condition is true, grade C. Again, if condition false, go to else block. And finally, it prints either F or D. So, among all these statements, every student might have a single grade, either A, B, C, D, or F, etc. But here, we need to select only one grade for every student, so that we need to check all these conditions. We can finally conclude with a single grade for a student. The same thing can be achieved using a switch. In most programming languages, uses another selection concept known as multi-way selection. Whenever we have multiple choices other than two, one or two, so we will use this switch statement. What is switch and how we use something in this? First, in the switch, we need to specify a condition. On that condition, we have to take a value. So based upon that value, the appropriate case will be executed. For example, in the switch, if we found A, so case A will go into the action. Similarly, case A, use some case action and break. Similarly, case B, use some case B action, break, etc. Among all these cases, we should have to use one at a time. If all these cases fail, it will take the default action. See this, a switch expression, case constant 1, constant 2, constant n, etc. And some of the statement blocks here. Switch off expression. So this expression yields a result either constant 1, constant 2, constant n. If this expression results either of these constants, the appropriate statement block will be executed. That is, if the expression is constant 1, directly jump to the case constant 1. If this expression is constant n, directly jumps to the constant n. And after reaching to this constant, it will execute appropriate statements for that case. If none of the constants are satisfied in this expression position, then it will directly jump to the default block. See a simple example main int i, I am reading something here, for i equals to 0, i less than 6, i plus plus, totally, this for loop will repeat it 6 times, don't worry about the for loop, we will discuss it in the next video. Switch off i, here i means assume it as a 0, so case 0 will go into the flow, that is printf i is 0, and immediately we need to place a break, this is mandatory in the switch case because we have to terminate that case 0. After we using the break, the remaining all statements will be omitted. Again, i++ plus plus, the loop will be repeated again. So, i value becomes 1 and switch off 1. So, directly jumps to case 1. If case 2 here, if i is case, i is 2, go to case 2. If i is 3, go to case 3. If i is something which is not in these cases, it will select the default action. That is, i is greater than 3.
and one more thing is it is also possible to include a switch within switch that is switch something some condition here and if this condition is case 1 again we can include an another switch within this case that is a switch within switch is also valid that is nested switch is also possible sometimes it is definitely needed for us after taking a certain decision after going to a certain case we have to have multiple choices again so we need to select multiple choices we need to select one choice among those multiple choices thank you thank you so much for watching this video please like us at facebook.com slash programming 9